So this is my finished Blackmagic 6K cinema rig build out. It's taken about six months and it's went through a lot of variations, but I finally think I have this thing perfected. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the particular things that this rig solves, as well as the versatility and how you can customize it to make it your own. And of course, I'm gonna leave every single thing linked down in the description. And if you wanna see a full breakdown on how I built this rig out, that's gonna be the next video coming up on the channel. So stick around. What's going on guys? My name is Chris and I'm a freelance videographer down here in South Mississippi and I'm gonna give you a tour of my Blackmagic rig build out. So first things first, this thing costs $4,000 on the dot almost. That includes the battery pack, the lens, the camera itself. So if you want to budget in for something this extensive, that's how much it's gonna cost. Also, this is the full build. Usually I'm using a smaller version than this without the V-mount battery, but thankfully, because I have the tilted cage, it can just quickly disassemble and go into a more run and gun solution. Having the V-mount battery on this thing is going to give it extremely long battery life and it powers the monitor and the camera, so super helpful. So this video is going to serve as an update video. A lot of you guys have asked me, what have you changed about your rigs? Do you still use the same rig? I made a video a couple months ago doing my full build out, but this is going to answer all of those questions as I give you a full run through of what this is. First things first, let's talk about the things that I've changed since the last build. One of the most noticeable things I've changed since the last build is the cage. Originally, I went with the small rig cage because it was cheaper and affordable and you could pretty much add whatever parts you want to it. This time, I decided to test out the Tilta cage. I went with the $450 full built out cage, you know, just for convenience, and I love this thing. I love this thing so much, it almost makes me regret buying the small rig version because the Tilta one is pretty, pretty good. The cage itself is, you know, nothing too similar, but the big thing for me is the top handle. The interaction and the grooves of the top handle just work flawlessly. I have larger hands and the smaller handle for the small rig cage wasn't doing it too well for me. So this larger top handle with actual finger grooves is perfect. Next thing up is it comes with its own sun hood and yeah, I don't use it too often, but it is very convenient because the black magic has like a dimmer screen. So the sun hood helps a lot out in daylight. It also holds the SSD, which is right above it. So super convenient. Speaking of convenience, one of the best best things about this cage is the handle has a freaking battery holder in it. So nobody touched on this and I didn't even have a clue this was a thing, but you can put a Sony MPF battery in the handle and power the black magic, giving you extended battery life. So yeah, if you're interested in a smaller compact battery solution, the Tilted Cage has one built in. And another thing is the quick release. So down here, I can easily and quickly detach it from the V-mount battery. And if I put batteries in my monitor, then we are good to go. And that's usually how I'm running the setup. Without the V-mount, you know, I'm running, gunning, and getting B-roll, and it's just super convenient to have it really compact. But in the event that I'm doing long form content, I need the full build out. Another thing that you're gonna notice that I changed is the follow focus. So I used to run the Tilta Nucleus Nano, which is an amazing, amazing follow focus, no hate on it. But the battery, just plugging it up, was kind of slightly, not convenient. So I went with a manual follow focus. That way I don't have to worry about batteries. I don't have to worry about plugging it into the V-mount battery. I don't have to worry about those extra cables. Having a follow focus just right here is pretty freaking awesome. Also, if you're looking to get in this follow focus with the 18 to 35 Sigma lens, this follow focus actually turns the exact amount of the full focus throw of that lens. So the more you know. <laughs> Another thing that I changed from the last rig was adding this matte box. So originally I went with a cheaper variable ND solution. It was about $100 and it was great. Just fully run and gun, throw it on there and it's good to go. But that is a great short-term solution. And for my long-term solution, I went with the Polar Pro matte box. This thing is dope. So I'm talking crazy convenient, super easy to put on, super easy to take off. It breaks down, you can actually just take the flag off, take the actual mini hood off, and you can just run this thing as a piece of glass in front of your lens. In fact, if I just pop those two off, see? Breaks down easy, now I can run it on my gimbal and it's no hassle. One of the downsides is it's kind of pricey and they have their own drop-in filters. So if you built up a lot of ND filters and you wanna to try to use those with this, currently you cannot and I don't think you ever will be. 
But for somebody like me, I have never owned any ND filters. So this thing was perfect. <laughs> so another thing that I've upgraded since my full build out video is this seven inch monitor from Small HD. Now I recommend getting a seven inch monitor over a five inch monitor is just more convenient to me. I can see it a lot better, it works. And I've had a five inch monitor and I don't know, I really, really just prefer having a seven inch. One thing that I possibly would change about my monitor mounting solution is maybe getting a magic arm. Now I love having my monitor right on the top of the camera, but if the monitor angle gets too high, then you might wanna get a magic arm to bring the monitor down. And lastly, the thing that brings this whole rig together is the V-mount battery. Now, V-mount batteries work well with the full build-out. They do add a lot of weight, therefore I don't use them too often. But as I said, if I'm doing long form content and I need to power this whole thing for a couple of hours on end without you know worrying about is my battery going dead and having the convenience to be able to hot swap batteries, get a V-mount solution. I run my monitor and my camera through dummy batteries in the camera and on the monitor. So easy solution, just plugs right into the V-mount battery. And remember, if you're running this exact setup, then I'm gonna put all of those necessary cables down in the description below. All right, so very, very last thing. I don't have it included right now, but if you're gonna be using a setup like this for a running gun solution, I recommend you get a camera strap, specifically the Peak Design camera strap that you can just screw into the cage pop the strap on and alleviates the weight from having to carry this thing around all day. Super convenient, trust me, trust me, trust me. <laughs> but overall, that is it. I freaking love this thing now. The changes that I've made makes everything feel a bit more professional, makes the rig much, much more usable. And I have to think less about, you know, is my battery charged or is everything working together because this thing works as a fully manual rig and I love that about it. So yeah, if you have any improvements, ideas on ways to make this thing better, tell me, let me know because I'd love to hear it because right now, I, I'm, in, I'm, I'm vibing with this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna be bringing you a step-by-step -step build guide next week, so stay tuned if you're into that. And if you wanna support the channel, then all the links in the description are affiliate links, and I make a small commission. Doesn't cost you anything extra, but it really helps me out in the long run. But with that all being said, that's all I have for you today, guys. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you loved it, consider subscribing, because I'm bringing you more content just like this every week. So you guys stay safe, your love, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.